Okay, so we're in Ikea trying to find a... Oh yeah, we're at... No, we're on this side. That's the odd number. Even numbers over here. We're in Ikea because we found a bookcase that we're going to put all our components on for the TV. And uh, I wanted to show you guys what, what we're doing. It's pretty cool. If I can steer this thing, because Rachel's sitting on it. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Once we get on this aisle. I can't steer. Alright, here we go. All right, ready? We're gonna do it again. <laughs> okay, so we just got in the car, and this piece is a little longer than we expected. We got the seats laying down in the back, and so we could close the trunk. But look how Rachel is sitting. She's sitting like super, super <laughs> close, like an old person would when they drive. <laughs> and I was like, I hope. Hopefully that's comfortable enough. She's like, it's not worried about if I'm comfortable. We gotta get it home. So, yep, she's right. We gotta get it home and up the stairs. Oh, no idea. You guys ever go grocery shopping hungry? If you do, don't do it. It's not good. Because she's like, come on, stitch the program. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hungry. <laughs> $140 later, we got groceries. But in our defense, we were really out of stuff. We didn't have any food. Don't get naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. Um, and some of it, one, some of it, one of it was a Christmas gift, so it wasn't really all that bad. But anyway, looky here. We got our TV on the wall. What you guys think? Got our stockings. My brother was saying today you're supposed to put the um, stockings on the end. So when you have kids, you put the kids in the middle. And this is what I did. I was like, well, if that's the case, we got way too much room. We got to do this. We got to slide this puppy way down here. <laughs> I said, that. there we go, one kid. And here's our bookcase that I've got to put together. Yay! I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. That's one thing I don't like about shopping at Ikea. You gotta put it together. What's up with that? You gotta pick it up yourself. You gotta put it together. What do they do? They don't do squat. They just sell it to you. So, that's my job. Then I gotta put all these components on the shelf, which, so much to do. What time is this? What, 10, 10 o'clock? 9.40. Okay, almost, almost 10 o'clock. So, I can't talk to you guys right now. I gotta work, so I'll talk to you guys when I get done. Okay, so it took about three hours to put this piece of furniture together. In reality, I didn't think it was going to take that long. It was just a couple boards. I mean, quite a few screws, but I was like, it shouldn't be too bad. It didn't look like a lot of pieces, but it did. Because I'm an idiot. Because apparently, I screwed it up. I'll show you what I screwed up in a minute. This is what it looks with the TV and the light against the wall and everything. So, here you go. Looks pretty good. Got the light. We're going to put all our components there. I don't know. Rachel will probably fill up the shelves, but who knows what. But I think it looks good beside the TV. I mean, it fits in there nice and snug. But here's what I'm talking about that I messed up on. This part right here, um, it's completely black on the other side. And that's supposed to be the back. So I got it flipped. So I messed up. And you should have seen me when Rachel pointed it out. I was flipping out. I was like, we gotta take it off. But I was like, you can't take that off. He's got 20 some nails in the back of it. And Rachel was like, well, we'll get some paint. And I was like, no, I don't wanna do that either. And the more I looked at it, the more I was like, well, it gives it a different color. That way it's not solid black. It adds a little bit more character. So we just gonna leave it like that. So I'm an idiot. I screwed up. I can't do anything right here lately. So there's my F up. So, and Rachel's not feeling so good. She's cold, and I'm burning up, and it's supposed to be the other way around. So the universe has shifted, because she's freezing, and I'm sweating. 
So, the last thing well, I wanted to share with you tonight was we started a tradition. And since Rachel's not feeling so well, I guess I get to do this. We're going to start buying a Christmas ornament every year, which is going to have the date on it. You want to open it? And then I guess I'll hang it. And you can show it, and then I'll hang it. Do you want to tell them why we got this one? Because we need a new place to get them. So. But they don't know what it is, so it's really cute. Okay, okay. It's pretty. It's pretty It's a key, and what does it say on it? It says, New Home 2011. New Home 2011. If I can get it focused. Focus. New home. And down here it says 2011. So, well, I guess I gotta take this off and then I'll hang it. So, it's pretty cool. Okay, here is our first official traditional ornament together. New home. So, if I can zoom in so you can kind of see it hanging on the tree, it zooms a little slow. It looks nice. It looks nice on the tree. Well, I guess that's it for today's vlog. Not a, ooh, not a lot of interesting stuff, but I guess I gotta take care of my baby because she's not feeling so good. She's got to be feeling good tomorrow because we've got a Christmas party with my side of the family. It's an early Christmas party. And I want to feel in tip-top shape. So... This, I thought there was something else I was going to say. I always forget what I want to say. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the new intro. Um, I haven't even created it yet, so this is kind of weird. I'm telling you about the intro I haven't even created yet. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a nice little Christmas intro. We're going, I'm going to use the entire month of December.